Age is what, about four, four, seven? Five, seven. Hey guys, don't be afraid to spend 150 bucks on pizza. Hi guys. One snowblower wasn't enough for this huge project, so I had to go buy another one. Brand new 518. We got a brand new 518 earlier this year. It blew up, so I'm giving them a second try. There's a reason why I returned. What? There's a reason why I got returned. I sold it all. It was returned, yeah, and then we uh, bought it and put them out. This unit was about uh, just under 500 bucks, so uh, I'm hoping she's worth it. Hoping she eats. Instead of walking the dock here. Pretty light, Jay. You just you should build a puller. Looks like a decrease. What? Looks like a. Guys made pretty good progress. All's gone. Let's try to see how much done. Yeah, I'm on an animal. Got it. Perfect. All right. They uh they topped her off. Topped her off with fresh oil, fresh gas. Let's uh see how she runs. Yeah. There's like little plastic replacing the cutting edge. Go back to the big one, I'll, I'll, I'll break in the new one. You could run your broken one. I want to run at least one course broke. And you broke the other one. <laughs> Just kidding, it was me. Over here. As you can see, it's slippery, and uh, there's a four foot bank here. The thing's it's about 10 inches high, so it's a little bit outsized, but we'll make her work. Keep pecking away at her and get her done. This one's by the hour, but just by the hour because I didn't know what to expect, so glad I did. All right, catch you guys later. All right, guys, this is absolutely crazy. We, uh, it's, been about, it's been about seven, seven uh, labor hours. Uh, with the snow blowers, we could have never done it. You'd be here uh, until spring, so it all melted. Check this out. This is a uh, well, slippery. You have to clear it off. Um, the good thing is, it's only about five feet down to the file, five, five, six feet, and it's in like 100 feet of snow. So if you fell off the roof, it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, let me show you. Uh, so all the snow pretty much melted off the upper roof and down on here. That's why there's. Okay, do we'll stand next to this pile? Stand next to this pile here. Okay, gauge is what? About four, four, seven? Five, seven. <laughs> Same thing. And look at that. Okay, the pile's here. Right there's the gauge. You can just see the top of his head. So that, that, that pile right there is five feet tall. Look at this cool little tunnel back underneath there. Look at the snow's literally just hanging over. So the snow right here is five feet tall. Nice little tunnel under there. Okay, you can see a little fort under there until it fell under. Until it fell on you. Oh, uh, yeah, so there's five feet of snow right here that all have to be pushed. Oh, fall in here. Five feet of snow right there, all of you pushed off, and then you got all the snow up here to pull down and push off again. This is literally like a. I'm gonna send them a. Uh, I'm gonna send them a bill for what we've done so far for the house and here, and then make sure that they want to finish this because by the time we do this and the house, it's gonna be in like a five, six thousand dollar roof job. So I'm going to uh, just make sure everyone's on the same page so they don't get a bill they're not expecting. We are going to uh, probably call it a day for now. We got a bunch of other stuff to do tomorrow. I'm thinking of getting as many guys as I can. Get uh, as many as I can, seven, eight, nine guys in here and finish this up so we can get done in a timely manner and not be here, not three guys be here a month, so. Um, there are some icy spots, like there's a bunch of ice and junk in here. 
So you kinda gotta pick away that a little harder on them. How's it going shoot? Good. I think he's union. Alright. <laughs> but yeah. We uh we found what works best is for one guy to shovel, keep pulling this out, and then two guys to snow blow. Seem to work pretty good. But, yeah, this is absolutely crazy. And this is only one of the barns. There's about five, six more over there. So, honestly, glad we're doing all that. But, alright. So, it's the day one for the five, five and a half foot roof raking job. This thing is long, too. If I had to guess, this thing is not into that end. Feet or more. All right, get these later. All right, guys. We got seven, eight guys going here, making pretty good progress. Sean just buried me. One of the guys put snowball right at me. So, all right, I'm gonna go and get this thing set up. We gotta get some footage of uh, lots of guys shoveling snow. We're making good progress here. For now, anyway. I wish I had a time lapse camera right now, but just left to do. Gordon? Yep. Alright. We're gonna go to lunch in a little bit. I'm gonna shut this off. Catch back up with you guys later. See you. Alright, guys, it's about 11 o'clock. We're making uh, really good progress. Check this out. Okay, you recognize it. Oodles of snow is almost, the, the pile is almost all the way through up there. Now we got everyone, everyone got quiet. We're gonna pull this down too. But we're gonna get, get it too bad. Snowblowers are working good before, but now that. The is so slick, everyone's sliding pretty good. So we're gonna put this finish up, take lunch, and then uh, start to do a little bit of 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 a um, guys already took the ladder, so I'll try to get a shot of the top, but it was, uh, it was good. We had seven guys here for about four hours, so four times seven, 14, 28, so it was 28 hours extra here. Um, so that one guy would have been forever. All right, everything looked good, everything cleans up good. Catch you guys later. All right, guys, it is, uh, 12, 15. Um, we're rolling out of that job right now. We just got it wrapped up. Um, a couple things I wanted to mention was, uh, for one, take care of your guys. Don't be afraid to spend 150 bucks on pizza to give them lunch before they head home. If you don't take care of them, don't be surprised when they don't take care of you when they're stuffing off, showing up late, and hacking stuff when you're not looking. So take care of them. A lot better chances they'll take care of you. Pay them good. Pay them what they can make at least anywhere else, if not better. If you can't afford to pay them good, you're not charging enough. And uh, yeah, that was when we started that job. I, right away, I saw that it wasn't a three-man job. It was more like a seven, eight-man job. So I'm not gonna burn out a couple of my good guys. Have them shoveling up there for three days straight. So I called up a bunch of guys uh, last night. Made ten phone calls. Got about four other guys to show up, and uh, made the job go twice as fast. That was, took about 25 labor hours to uh, clear off. We ended up not doing the upper part. They said, ah, it'll probably be all right. Some of it had already slid down. They said maybe uh, if you get some more snow this weekend, we will uh, go back and break down the upper part and then break it off. So it was mainly just a lower section because, uh, mainly just a lower section because there was a six foot pile right there. So they didn't want that going through. It was a lot of weight. So we got her done. We we're gonna go uh, push back piles along the driveway. This guy out in the country, he got a quarter mile long driveway with four foot size on each side. So we're gonna go there with two bobcats and knock that out and then uh, rest up till tomorrow till uh, the snow comes so hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think comments below like comment subscribe catch you guys later